Hello, so uh, a while back I did a video about Bitwig's reverb as part of my Bitwig device series. A few people had asked on that about what good ways were to get just nice sound and reverb presets for simple things like vocals and guitars and stuff like that. I showed off some, you know, creative things that you can do with the reverb, but um, some people were just asking about just really basic nice sounds. And uh, you really don't have to do much to it to get those sounds. So I just said I'd make a quick video showing you how to do that. So first of all, um, I've just made this little loop here so we can put different types of things through the reverb. And I've currently got it going through a reverb here. I've got it a bit exaggerated just so you can hear it, but I'll let you hear that by itself. This is one that I've edited, like a preset that I've made um, for the reverb. That's what it sounds like by itself. And let's have a listen to just the regular reverb, the like default preset that loads in. So it's not necessarily bad, and there are some good reverb presets for the reverb, but I just want to show you how you can tweak it yourself to get the sound that you want, um, because there's a couple of simple things you can do that make a big difference. Uh, a good thing to have a look at here is what third-party reverbs do to sound a little bit better. So I've opened up Valhalla here, and let's just do a few things to bring it in line with what Valhalla Vintage ver Verb is doing here. So this is just the default preset for Valhalla Vintage Verb, and let's do some stuff to make it more like this. So if I click into my reverb here, I'm just gonna solo it. So the first thing I'm seeing here on Valhalla is obviously this is EQ'd. Now I could put this in the wet effects to, to affect the wet of the reverb, but because we're on ascend, I'm just gonna put the effects one after the other. So the first thing to add here is a, just a little EQ. This is the number one problem with the reverb as it comes. There tends to be a bit too much high end for it to be really usable. Um, you can mess around with the sort of high multiplier um, here. Uh, if you wanna know what, what all these things do, I have made a full video going in depth onto everything, so I'm not gonna be going into that in detail, but you can mess around with these to get a sort of better EQ. And those are great for shaping the sound, uh, but sometimes you just want to take some frequencies out. So uh, the first thing here I'm seeing in Valhalla, if you look, is we've got a high cut at 8K. So let's cut out the high end. Um, let's go with a four pole filter and let's just pull this down to 8K, the same as the Valhalla one. So let's hear the difference there. So that sort of instantly smooths it out a bit. And that's going to be already much better on stuff like vocals because it's not going to carry like really syllabusy sounds, S's and T's and stuff like that. Um, it'll kind of take the harshness off it. There's also a, a 10 hertz high cut. I don't think that's making much of a difference, but um, I do recommend sometimes high cutting the reverb because a lot of low frequency buildup can happen. So it can be worth sort of doing that. You may want to do it to the extreme if you want a really mid-rangey reverb as well. Um, but yeah, it's no harm to take out at least the sort of sub-frequencies. Next thing we've got here is modulation. So uh, the reverb is being modulated. Now we're going to stay away from the tank effects here. Um, it is a good idea to put things like chorus and um, stuff like that into the tank effects. Um, but you don't necessarily need to. I'll show you the difference. So if we put a chorus here. And let's try and emulate what we were seeing here on um, the the Valhalla Vintage Verb. So the first thing here is the modulation rate is 2.53 hertz. So let's set our modulation rate to 2.53 hertz, why don't we? Or somewhere close, 2.52 is pretty good. And then for the depth, it's really difficult to just carry something like this over so we can kind of mess around with the mix and the, the depth ourselves. That's probably a bit too much. Bring the depth up and the mix down. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, modulation definitely makes a big difference when you're trying to smooth out a reverb. We can also put the chorus into the tank effects and this will sort of put it into the chain of delays that's causing the reverb. That can be a really nice way to smooth the reverb out. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna put it all on the wet effects just so we can kind of see our chain and it'll kind of achieve a similar effect, not exactly the same thing, but uh, let's put these into a chain and then let's see what they sound like with and without. So here's without. So yeah, already much smoother. So the rest of the parameters are all stuff that we can find in the reverb itself. Like uh, for instance, our size parameters here, we can set it to 100% or we can go beyond that in Bitwig. Things like the high end low shelves are pretty similar to what's going on here. But I just wanna show you one more way that you can change the timbre of the reverb um, and pretty much make it sound however you want it to. And that is with the resonator bank. So if I open up the resonator bank here on the reverb, um, you can see that it's really resonating, not necessarily what we're looking for. But one thing you can do with the resonator bank here is if you pull these cues down to zero, so let's make them all really wide. So now instead of being like a really narrow band pass, they're like wider and they're covering more of a frequency range. These will now sort of allow you more to shape the reverb. And we can sort of make different frequencies resonate more than others and sort of last a bit longer than others. Especially if we play around with the cue here. We can really get certain frequencies to resonate. What this is doing is it's almost giving you like a six band damping control for different frequencies and you can control the resonance of the damping on the reverb. So let's now mix this in with the original signal. Let's just use it with the drums though, just so we can really hear what it's doing. Let's bring that cue down. So if we want a really bright reverb, we can come up here and we can make it last way longer. Or we can have a really boomy reverb. And let's hear it without those effects. So that's where we're coming from. And then with these just couple of effects. We really have pretty much the control to make it sound however we want it to sound. So let's have a look at the one that I did earlier. So I believe it's this one. So let's mute all the other ones. So this is a much darker sort of a hall kind of a sound. And if I've got a dark sound like this, now I've done much more EQ in here as well. I've taken out some frequencies I didn't like there. But if, we, if we've got this dark hall sound and we just want it to take this sound, just say, hey, I want that a little bit brighter. Let's have a bit more decay on the high end. Maybe I want that much narrower. Or maybe I want it in the upper mid range. So 
So yeah, you can pretty much make it sound however you want it to sound. And you can even modulate this over time. So if you wanted it to change in certain sections or anything like that, or maybe you wanted to pull down some of the resonance for a certain part, let's just hear it on a different source. So let's hear it on these sort of pluck sounds here. So let's pull out some of this, make it really dark. So yeah, hopefully that's shown you some of the possibilities as far as shape and the reverb go. Um, I definitely think the 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 combination of of chorus, a bit of EQ, and and the resonator bank can allow you to make pretty much any reverb sound that you would like. Big thank you to all my patrons who support the channel. If you are a patron, by the way, uh, I'll put this project up so you can mess around with these uh, just couple of simple reverb presets I have here with the drums if you want to get a feel for messing around with it. And actually, also, if you're a patron, um, I have made some specific presets for vocals and guitar and stuff. Um, and I'll be putting those out in the next couple of days as well, so you can grab those as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you got something from this. Uh, leave a like if you did, because it helps me out. Thank you very much.